In this video, we'll take a look at creating annotation on the front view of this drawing. Annotation can be used to communicate measurements, call out features, and provide information about your design. Text and dimensions are types of annotation. You control the appearance of annotation using styles. From the Format menu, I'll select Text Style. I'll select a user-defined text style, Title, from the Styles list, which contains both user-defined and default text styles. Now when I create text objects, they'll be assigned the title Text Style. From the Format menu, I'll select Dimension Style, and select Main as the current dimension style. After defining which styles to use for text and dimensions, I'm ready to annotate my drawing. I'll set the text layer current. The mText command is used to create multi-line text. mText prompts you to specify two points in the drawing to determine the width of the multi-line text object. I can use the text editor visor to specify text formatting, or accept the default formatting and start typing in the in-place editor. I'll click Save after I finish adding my text. Next, I'll set the dimension layer current. You can create different types of dimensions such as linear, radial, or angular. One way to dimension objects is to select a dimension command. Press Enter and select the object you want to dimension. This is an efficient way to dimension lines and polyline segments. If I want more control over which points are used to create the dimension, I can use object snaps to specify start and end points in the drawing. To dimension this arc, I'll select Dimension. Next, I'll select the arc and click to place the dimension. Adding text and dimensions to your drawing finalizes your design. 